Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel, it's me, John. Today, I am doing a Taco Bell review of two new items. One is a breakfast item, one is a lunch, dinner item, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I had to order these in the morning to get the breakfast item, because you can't get the breakfast item later, but you can get the lunch item during the breakfast time. Anyway... We're going to try the breakfast item first. This is called the California Crunch Wrap. It is a breakfast crunch wrap. Um, interesting thing about the breakfast crunch wraps is they're folded like a crunch wrap, but they're missing that like tostada crunchy shell. So it, do, it is wrapped, but it doesn't have the crunch. Uh, they replace it with a hash brown, which a hash brown at, bre at best is crispy, not necessarily crunchy, but if you wrap a hash brown, even the crispiness is going to be gone, because the liquid, moist, wet parts of this is going to take away any of that, or itself will steam itself inside of the, the wrap, yet I digress. So what makes the California Crunch Wrap different than their other breakfast crunch wraps? Uh, it's actually guacamole. So inside of here is a regular breakfast crunch wrap with the addition of guacamole. Let's give it a taste. Can you see the green? So it has the bacon, the eggs, the cheese, the hash brown, and a cop that guac. It's actually pretty good. There's also some tomatoes in here. I'm not sure if the tomatoes are part of their guac mix or if they add tomatoes as well. It actually looks like the tomatoes are separate because I see this tomato right here and there's no greenness around it so it must be separated. But there's also a tomato over here inside of the guac. I'm going to say that the, the tomatoes are probably added separate. It is a very uh, tasty, flavorful uh, item. Um, I actually really like the addition of the guacamole. Uh, a lot of the breakfast items can really taste the same. Um, bacon, eggs, cheese, hash browns, no matter how you wrap them up, they taste the same. Uh, but, let me see if they give me some sauce. None of the sauce that I requested did we're going sauceless. The avocado, the uh, guacamole, it looks consistently green. There's no brown oxidizedness to it. Um, I am fairly certain by its color and consistency, though, that it is pre-made, pre-packaged, sent to the Taco Bells, and they kind of like scoop it out. Probably has some citric acid or lime in there that keeps it a nice color. Uh, but it tastes good. Um, definitely has an avocado -y lime flavor. Uh, that uh, really adds like a, a good balancing flavor to the extremely savoriness of bacon and eggs. I like it. But, let's move on to the second item. Because we have two things here today. They also did give me a fork. 
But this is their new Yellow Bird Nacho Fries. Yellow Bird is a brand of hot sauces, and they've collaborated with Taco Bell to make, I think this is a unique sauce that you can't get from them. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but this uh, yellowy sauce here is a Yellow Bird Ranch, uh, Spicy Ranch. There's also cheese on here. Um, so like, right here on this piece of meat, this yellow is the sauce, and on this fry here, this yellow is cheese. I'm going to have to pick this up with my fingers since they didn't give me a fork. I'm just going to try a piece of steak because this one has a lot of that sauce right on it. That's a pretty good spice. This fry has some cheese up here, some sauce down there. It's actually pretty good. The, uh, I believe the main pepper spice that's supposed to be in here is habanero. Which really is, a, like I said, a decent amount of spice in here. Um, if you're someone who's averse to spicy stuff, if you've never tried the Diablo sauce or the fire sauce at Taco Bell because it's too spicy for you, this is probably spicier than both of those things. It is hitting me right in the throat here. It's causing like a lot of salivation, so I'm having to uh, swallow a lot before I'm able to talk again. Uh, but tasty. It has a good spice. It still has a bit of tang uh, from a ranchy flavor to it. The, the steak on here is a uh, Taco Bell steak. So what can you say about that? It's very tender. And like, barely have to chew it. Um, so right now on the menu, this is the only menu item you can like buy that has it just already in it, but you can upgrade anything you buy. You can get a burrito, a taco, a gordita, anything, and pay, I think it's either 50 cents or a dollar to add the Yellow Bird Spicy Ranch to whatever it is you're buying. Um, then I, that's what I would do. If uh, I were to try this again, uh, but I wanted to try the item, the special item they created for it. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of their nacho fries turned into like a like a bed of nachos. They they don't start crispy enough to to handle all those things. So. When they get a little bit of cheese or a little bit of sauce on them, they get very floppy and they just, they don't have any crispness to it. I like my fries have a little bit of crispness. But flavor-wise, it's good. They also come with tomatoes, cheese sauce, shredded cheese, as well as the steak fries and yellow bird spicy ranch sauce. I'm going to say... Both items here I'm giving a thumbs up to. The California Crunchwrap, uh, the avocado that's on here really balances out um, just like that super savoriness of regular uh, breakfast items. Gives a little bit of coolness. I think if I had some uh, Diablo sauce, I would definitely put that on there. The Yellow Bird uh, Nacho Fries also very good really good amount of spice it's not like scorpion ghost pepper level so it's not gonna like make you feel sick or have your stomach rolling but it is spicy enough that a lot of people who have uh, lower spice tolerances just in the mouth area 
uh, probably won't uh, be going for this anytime soon. But anyway, that's the end of this Taco Bell review. I like both of these items. You should like this video. And leave a comment, subscribe, all the things that uh, the YouTube algorithms loves for people to do. That would really help me out in some way or another. Uh, it would, at the very least, uh, make me feel a little bit better about myself. Anyway, see you later. Bye.